The Canada UNDP Climate Change Adaptation Facility is working to strengthen food security and water management in the face of climate change. It supports climate change adaptation action in six developing countries. Cabo Verde, Cambodia, Haiti, Mali, Niger, and Sudan. Nurturing exchange and interaction between them all, the facility works to share innovative approaches and scale up successful strategies. Despite differences in geography, politics, or language, climate change poses similar threats to sustainable development in all six of these countries. Each country is also facing similar challenges in addressing these threats. Un des grands impacts de, de, des changements climatiques au Cap Vert euh, se prennent surtout par euh, le, le changement des cycles de, de pluie. Euh, nous avons chaque fois moins de pluie et en petite quantité. Des sécheresses, nous avons les inondations, nous avons aussi euh, les vents de poussière ainsi que. Euh, Euh, les hautes températures et aussi l'évasion acadienne. Alors, dans le cas d'Haïti, euh, les principaux impacts sont les inondations, les pluies intenses et les, les sécheresses prolongées. Surtout au niveau de l'agriculture, les paysans sont, sont victimes de ces longues sécheresses au niveau de leur culture. Que ce soit au niveau d'Haïti, que ce soit au niveau des pays de l'Afrique, on, on, a, on a les mêmes challenges. Of course, the, the, the sporadic rainfall, the droughts, uh, the blood distances, the inaccessibility of some areas uh, also impact the life of, 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 of uh, different people, different communities. I think the, uh, we have common interest here, building the resilience of the communities, which encompass the, the resilient technical package, the uh, water uh, infrastructures, and uh, the most important the group mobilization. Across these countries and regions, similar approaches are being taken to adapt to these climate change impacts and address these challenges. For example, water access is being provided to vulnerable communities for irrigating small-scale gardens, domestic drinking, and feeding livestock through establishing new water supply infrastructure. Irrigation systems are being strengthened to maximize the use of water for growing crops. Water and natural resources are being more sustainably managed through the establishment of user groups and management committees. New crops are being introduced that are more resilient to the changing climactic conditions. Awareness is being raised on the risks climate change poses to lives and livelihoods and adaptation options for managing these risks. Reforestation of drylands, coasts and forests is being undertaken to strengthen adaptive capacity of ecosystems. Women's groups are being provided with the tools and skills to engage in resilient income generating activities like home gardening and sewing. As a good example of South-South cooperation, these experiences and lessons are being documented, analyzed, and shared to understand what is working and how it can be applied for replication in other countries. Thanks to this facility, these six countries are working together for the first time. Bringing together this diversity of knowledge and experience 
is the only way to tackle the complex challenge of climate change.